Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me on my tutorial that I have for you. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First, you're going to have to make sure that your glass is clean. I'm going to use alcohol and a paper towel. main part of this is making sure that your surface is clean. And I already have my flower mesh wrap. I picked this up at, well I ordered it at Amazon and I'll make sure I have everything in the description box. And I already cut them into strips. You will also need a lighter, which I didn't mention. I already burned the edges on most of them. Um, when you cut them, you will see some threads sticking out. So you just kind of go along the side and you just burn them off. And now I'm going to just take my Gorilla Glue. gonna put some on each of the flower mesh you don't need much this glue holds pretty pretty good you can use the Gorilla Clear Grip or the E6000 Turn your glass upwards. I'm going to start by taking some hot glue. That way it won't slide during the, uh, during the video. But I really don't use hot glue too much because once it sticks, then that's pretty much it. And then I'm just going to complete the process by doing the same to each strip. Some of this I won't put any hot glue on because as you see it slides but it'll still give me time to make sure everything is aligned the way that I want it.
Also with each strip I have nine uh, of the flower mesh and I'll just take it down to the bottom of the glass and you can put it on each way. You can have it this way. You can turn the glass upside down and you can still um, fix it that way as well. And I'm going to use five strips on this one. You can use as many as you want. If you happen to see any glue um, that's kind of seeped out a little bit, you can take some alcohol and clean it. And it's best to do it as soon as possible because it will dry. Once it dries, it's pretty hard, but um, you might see some glue and you might not. It just depends how much you use. So this is how it looks so far and I will clean up the glue, the excess glue that I see and I will give it time to dry. I'll let it dry for about maybe a half hour because with this Gorilla Clear Grip it really dries pretty fast. But it still gives you a window to be able to maneuver anything around to make sure everything is aligned. So I'll let this dry for about 30 minutes. Okay, so while that the mesh wrap is drying on the glass, I'm going to take this candle holder that I got from the Dollar Tree. And they they come in this color with blue, like an amber color, green, um, and supposedly black. But I ordered a set offline and I did not get any black, so I'm upset about that. But they all have this little gold trimming around it. So you can either paint over it or you can put any kind of covering like mesh wrap or uh, bling wrap or any kind of whatever you choose to kind of camouflage it a little bit. Or you can leave it as it is. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of these flower mesh strips and... I'm just going to kind of go over it. It's not going to cover all the gold. You will still see some gold, but it's okay. So I'm going to take some of my Gorilla Glue, just place it on each flower mesh.
I'm just going to hold it for a couple seconds. Where the two ends meet, I'm just kind of like pulling it together a little bit, tighten it up. And this is how it looks. So I'll continue to let this dry and then I will um, wait on the wine glass to dry with the flour mesh and I'll come back with um, with the rest of the decoration that I'm going to be doing. You'll need a foam board and when you cut the foam board all you have to do is take the glass and you set it top down on the foam board and you just take a pen or a pencil and you just trace it. Once you trace it, then you cut it. And when you cut it, I got a black foam board and they have white as well. But I got the black foam board and once you cut it, it's going to be white as you see. So what I did, I just took some acrylic paint and a paintbrush. And I just went over the edges. This is the one I've already done. So it's black. But when you cut it, it will be white. So you can just take some paint and just dab along the white part to cover it up. So actually, what, since that is still drying, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my... Take my roses that I got from Amazon. Um, these are red rose heads, and they have them in I seen black, blue, like all kind of colors. So I'm just gonna take one out the box. And this is how they look. But they're very easy to take apart. All you have to do is just kind of bend it straight and then just kind of wiggle a little bit and then pull it out. So with this, I'm going to take the foam board and I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to place some on the bottom of the rose. And I'm going to Take the foam board and put it directly in the middle. I'm just going to hold it for a couple seconds. And then this is how it will look. I recommend the Gorilla glue sticks. I think they hold better than the other ones when it comes to these kind of decorations. But if you just have regular hot glue, then you should also use E6000 or the Fix All from the Dollar Tree or the Gorilla Clear Grip. They have many types of glue that you can use, but you can use those for a more permanent hold. But I would prefer the Gorilla glue, hot glue sticks. These hold very, very good. So I'm going to let my glass um, finish drying. And I'll give it about another 15 more minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, so now that most of the uh, glue is dry, um, what I did, I didn't do it on camera. I took some of the uh, flower mesh wrap and I cut them into single pieces like this and I burned the edges and then the open gaps from the strips I just placed them in between the gaps so now I'm gonna take the rose and my Gorilla Glue 
Well, actually, I'm going to just put it on the rim of the glass. And I'm trying to get the thinnest coat as I can possibly get. Just so I won't have any excess glue to clean up. And you'll have to try to use a very thin layer because once inside the glass, you will see a little bit of it. And you can take a half stick and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. So now I'm just going to take my rolls and I'm going to place it inside of the glass. And the foam board will be directly on top of the rim. And you can use hot glue, but hot glue will show once it dries, um, you will still see it. So I use the Gorilla Glue just to make sure that it's aligned and I use a thin layer and that way you won't see much glue. And since you can see this black part of the foam board, again you can take some bling wrap and just kind of camouflage it if you like. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I don't want it too blinged out. And this is what it should look like. And that's it to this tutorial. Very quick and easy. And I just want to say again, thanks for um, watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell so you can get notifications whenever I upload a video. Stay safe, everyone. God bless you. Happy New Year. Practice your social distancing and wear your mask. Wash your hands. Have a good day.